Uh, let's go and uh, check in with uh, the uh, Obamas who apparently uh, are uh, have a problem with white people unless they live on Martha's Vineyard, and then they're fine, apparently. Here is uh, a Michelle Obama, and uh, she just, I don't know, is she talking? Well, let's listen. It is I write of called White Flight. That is families like ours, upstanding families like ours, you know, who were doing everything we were supposed to do and better. Um, As we moved in, uh, white folks moved out because they were afraid of what our families represented. And I always stop there when I talk about this out out in the world because, you know, I want to remind white folks that y'all were running running from us. (laughs) You know, because this family, this family, (laughs) this family (laughs) with all the values that you read about. Yeah. You were running from us and you still running (laughs) because we're no different than the immigrant families that are moving in the families in Pilsen, the 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 families that are coming from other places to try to do better. But because we can so easily wash over who we really were because of the color of our skin. You know, because of the, the texture of our hair, mm-hmm. you know, that's what divides countries. Artificially as well. Artificial things that don't even touch on the values that people bring to life. And so, yeah, I, felt, I feel a sense of injustice. And you know this when you're young. You know people are running from you, <laughs> you know? And you can see it. You can see it all of a sudden. Because we, we grew up with friends of all races when we first mu- moved in. Rachel Dempsey and Susan Yacker and I, you know, you had friends of all races. We played together. There were no gang fights. There were no territorial battles. But yet, one by one, they packed their bags and they ran from us. And they left communities in shambles. Uh, They just bought like a $15 million house on Martha's Vineyard, right? And uh, I don't see people running from that. They She's lecturing us. People. It's unbelievable. Uh, what next? We got to eat our carrots. How about not force feeding people the food that you want them to eat in school? And uh, then maybe they won't run from you. Right? I mean, if you're trying to force feed me, of course I'm going to run. That's the thing. She doesn't say a family. word about that. She doesn't say about how we moved into the neighborhood and forced everybody to eat specific foods for lunch. We went across... The- the entirety of the south side of Chicago, forcing white people to eat carrots. Of course we left. Unbelievable. Uh, let's do.